it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and I'm hoping that you'll be able to hear me over the next door neighbours hammering at the moment. Um, I decided to uh, do a very quick video on one of the issues I have, or we have here in cooler climates, with the getting the very slow growing tropicals to fruit, uh, which is certainly more of a problem than it is with. Uh, with growing them in their own climate. Now the one I've chosen to highlight here is the Sapodilla. Um, now that is, uh, let me check the name, Latin name, Manilcara Zapota. Zapota. So that's the, this is a regu regular common garden Zapote which is also known as Chiku in a lot of places. Now I've had this plant, I would say, I think I've had it at least two years. It's probably the third summer that I've had this sapote, and it grows about. It's growing about two inches a year, <laughs> maybe maybe three inches. But no, I'd say it's grown two inches. Now, if you consider the size of this plant, if I lift it up, the plant itself is probably around three feet tall. Now, I would hazard a guess that it's probably at least five or six years old. It would have been growing in a, in a heated greenhouse in Germany, so the growth rate would have been a bit quicker. But even in their own natural habitat, they're well known for only growing a few inches a year. I've heard people complaining about them a lot and how slow growing they are in places like Florida. Now, the what's interesting about the sapotes is they actually take about... Uh, when they flower, if the flowers set, it takes in their natural habitat the best part of a year for the fruit to develop from flowering to actually mature fruit. And there's quite a few tropical and subtropical fruits that actually are very slow like that. Avocados probably take a year, um, these take a year, uh, Mame Sapote take more than a year, and there's quite a few others that will take even citrus mostly take 9 to 12 months from flower to maturity of the fruit. Now that's fine in your in the natural habitat where the weather tends to be quite warm even in winter and they will grow a bit more consistently. If, if I could get this to the stage where it flowered and actually set fruit, um, in our cool climate with short daylight hours through the winter because obviously if they're growing the nearer they grow to the equator, the closer they get to having that 12 hours daylight all year round, which is what they respond to. Obviously in the winter here, we're only getting about sort of seven hours of useful daylight uh, in the depths of winter. So if I could get this to actually produce flowers and then subsequently set fruit, it's probably going to take 15 to 18 months for the fruit to grow from flowering size to fruiting to actually mature fruit which is probably the same that would happen with an avocado here you're probably looking at 15 to 18 months and certainly the citrus here unless they're in a heated greenhouse seem to take at least a year from flower to mature fruit except maybe the smaller ones like kumquats but the larger ones grapefruit pomelos even lemons are going to take well over nine months probably as I said about 12 months here and the reason it's so hard to uh, so I'm listening to seagulls <laughs> making a noise there so even apart from the other problems we get it's going to be really difficult to ever get fruit on a sapodilla here without a heated greenhouse because at any time during that 12 month period when the embryo fruits are hanging on the plant and developing there's a much higher chance here of um, overwatering the plant, underwatering the plant, getting a cold snap that catches you out when it's outside exposed to the cold, cold winds. So it's highly likely that the fruit would drop off, as is often the case with citrus as well. So this for me is more about the challenge of keeping the plant alive and seeing if I can get flowers on it. But I think we're going to be pushing it to get fruits ever because I just can't imagine that I'm going to be able to keep it bright enough and dry enough in a normal house conditions to actually ever produce fruit over here but it's 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 about the fun of the challenge for me not necessarily the end result but that's for people who live at 
I really thought I'd make the video for people who live in a warm climate who, who don't appreciate the challenge of these very, very slow growing and developing fruit trees, just how hard it would be to keep the fruits on the plants here all year round and get them to maturity. Even my babaco, or babaco, I should say, um, it's take, takes, I think in its natural habitat, takes about four to six months to get fruit on it. When, uh, when my one fruited here, it took nine months. Um, I'm just going to pause the video minute because there's some at the door. Sorry about that, I'm back again. The uh, front, there was a knock at the front door, so I thought I'd better see who it was, just a delivery for my son. Um, so I just thought I'd do a very quick video on this, just so you could, uh, for anyone who's interested, could... Uh, see the issues we get. I've got a few small mealy bugs on this. I don't seem to get many pests on these uh, on these sapodillas but they're painfully slow growing. I mean even when it got a couple of flowers last year I think it took three months from when the first flower buds first appeared to when they actually opened which is uh, ridiculously slow but they're well known for it. Um, but the plant's quite resilient, seems to be it takes the dry atmosphere of the house quite well and when I put it out in the summer it seems to cope quite well with the cool breezes but it's not a quick growing plant so I'll do updates as and when um, same problem with citrus trying to keep them uh, trying to get them to grow a little bit faster but it, it just sticking a load of food in the pot doesn't work because um, basically the daylight they get here and the temperatures are not enough to boost the growth but um, I thought it might interest people who uh, who have it easy where they live in their warm climates so thanks everybody if you've watched the video please remember to give me a thumbs up um, please uh, share it with anyone you think might be interested obviously subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and remember if you click the bell you will be updated on new videos as they come out that's my extremely slow growing sapodilla i'll catch up with you on the next video brett out for now